Austin and I are moving soon, so I wanted to start packing our things. We've been waiting for these moments for a long time, years, and they are finally happening in our present. Our dreams of having our own home and homestead are coming true. We are moving into a rental property just briefly while we look for our perfect homestead and to explore the community just to make sure that this is the area we want to settle down in for a while. <laughs> the next place that I will be in is not ours to keep, but it is the place where I will be creating for the next few months. Since we plan on starting a homestead, we can use the cardboard boxes two times, once for moving and once for creating sheet mulch in our garden beds. It is important to me to use biodegradable tape, which is how I am putting these boxes together. I got the tape for shipping things from my Etsy shop, but it works great for this situation too. We were able to use boxes from my sister's move for our move. We've moved eight times in the last four years, and many of those times had to be sporadic and felt chaotic, moving within a few hours to a new place. This time is different though. We have this planned and it is going smoothly, and I have time to pack each and every item mindfully. I'm starting with my crafting supplies, which you can see are, well, tangled. I rolled all of my yarn up in balls and neatly packed them into the craft box. As an artist of many mediums, I have collected supplies along the way and have had to just shove them in a box for everything, though now I'm taking the time to organize into each category. Clothes is another category we've just shoved in a bag to go. I wanted to put away clothes we weren't using right now, so they are ready to go when we leave. The clothes we do wear will fit in our duffel bags. Since deciding to settle down, I've admittedly acquired more clothing items, leaving behind the minimal wardrobe for one that is expansive and makes me happy. While living in my mother-in-law's basement, I've spent a lot of time outdoors collecting wild plants. So here I'm just putting all of them away in this box. It's like a traveling apothecary, though in the next place it's going to be a little bit more permanent and organized than on my dresser. I wanted to do something special for us for the first night that we stayed in our new place. So I decided to make a plant-based lasagna and put it in these traveling tins that I could just pop into the oven in the new place and we can have a nice home cooked dinner. So for this lasagna, all I did was I shopped at the farmer's market for some things and then I have gluten-free noodles and the vegetable mix is mostly just zucchini, carrots, onions, garlic, and red peppers. I feel like we're going to really appreciate this meal as it's been a while since we've had to move and Though recently we've been eating out a lot, just because of getting ready to move, I thought it would be a nice treat to have something home prepared for the first night in our home.
Besides for packing, we wanted to make sure that we had an ample supply of wood ready when we arrived at our house. So a couple of weekends ago, we took the drive out to where we're going to be living this winter and we moved firewood and stacked firewood all weekend so we could be warm all winter long. The house we are renting is heated by a wood stove. We lived this way in Oregon, so this house is a little bit different. We were able to get all the wood moved and now we're all ready to move in to our wonderful new winter stay home. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you on the other side of this move. Sending lots of love your way. Bye!